This information is meant to promote industry best practices by towing and roadside industry professionals. This information is not intended to serve as a substitute for a company's own training, experience, or judgment. It is a viewer's job to evaluate the accuracy of any information found here. So my name is Paul Stevens, and I am a tow operator for the last 33 years. And I'm also a consultant for uh, several OEMs uh, in the automotive world and also product manufacturers. I basically want to talk to you today about taking care of your cables and understanding your cables and what's important and what's not important. The cable is usually used on a daily basis and it gets fatigued and it starts to wear itself down and ends up failing. Well, these failures can be a lot of times mitigated just with a daily inspection. Whether it's the beginning of your shift or the end of your shift or, you know, when you have a downtime, take a look at your cable. Make sure there's not a bunch of frays or a dog leg in it or some pinch points or some cuts. If you pay attention to your cable and you inspect it all the time, wind it up nice and neat, keep it going across that drum like it's supposed to, feeding back and forth, you'll get a lot longer life out of your cable. So another area to focus on is the winch mounting area, um, whether that be the winch itself, the tensioner plate, the uh, roller guide bracket, um, or the mounting plates themselves. You want everything to flow freely. You don't want anything that's causing obstruction or an increased amount of resistance, such as a bent tensioner, or the tensioner plate being worn down, or the roller guides having you know grooves cut into them, not spinning freely. Each one of these plays into it and increases resistance on that cable. So keeping your cable rolling freely on and off the drum is what the ultimate goal is. We don't want any increased resistance. Another thing to pay attention to is where the hook connects to the wire rope or the cable. Uh, make sure that there are no frays in that area also. Um, that takes a beating. Um, it puts the cable a lot of times in a bind uh, when you hook your hook into one of these toe rings or something in the front of a car. So be cognizant of that and, and understand that, you know, you're, you're putting a tremendous amount of force on there when you sideload the hook. Something you should pay attention to, too, is using a proper snatch block. A lot of guys take the shortcut and they take their J-hook and they lay their J-hook up in one of these keyway slots with a small chain and then let the cable run through the J-hook and come down and attach to something. Well, there's two problems there. One, a snatch block has a, a sheave wheel inside of it that's greased and allows for the tension on the wire rope to be reduced and it also allows for the cable to move freely. Well, if you're using a J-hook, that is creating friction because it's metal on metal, and it's also putting a tremendous amount of bind on the cable itself. Um, and you can ultimately have a failure right there just because of the torque load that's put on it. Um, never use the end of your bed as a jack. Um, if you run your cable down off the end of your bed, you tilt your bed down, you, you put your V-bridle there or something, and you want to get something under the front wheels or change a tire, and you tilt your bed, um, and you can see, you know, in these photos what it does. It, it basically leaves imprints from the cable in your bed. That's a tremendous amount of force, and that's a, a, a tight, sharp radius right there or a sharp edge, and it's going to cut that cable and cause that cable to prematurely fail. Another thing to keep in mind is, is cable clamps. If you're going to use emergency cable clamps, they are for a temporary repair. They're never to be used on a daily basis just simply because they don't have that compression that holds that cable together. Keep an extra cable in stock. Uh, it's always nice to have one as a spare. That way when you, you do have a failure or you do find a, a, a bad spot or something, it's easy to swap it out. Cables are relatively inexpensive on rollbacks. One thing to remember that it's impossible to predict when your cable will fail. One suggestion is utilizing a safety strap or maybe a J-hook as an auxiliary device to secure the vehicle in the event that there's some sort of a cable failure. And always remember that, you know, if you take care of your cable, it's going to take care of you.